In this video, let's see the next numerical problem based on the concept of principal value branch in the chapter inverse trigonometric functions. The question is a bit lengthy, so students tend to leave this question unnoticed, but let's understand it properly and let us make it simple to solve. The question is what? Let's read it together. Find the value of tan inverse. The question has numerator and denominator both. The numerator has under root 1 plus cos x plus under root 1 minus cos x. Denominator has under root 1 plus cos x minus under root 1 minus cos x. And the x value lies between 0 to pi by 2. That means 0 to 90 degree that is given to me. And I have to just simplify it. Now, whenever you see trigonometry or any functions involved with trigonometry, you should be knowing certain formulas as if what is sin square theta plus cos square theta or what is 1 plus cos theta or what is 1 plus cos 2 theta and so on. So, in this question, when I see 1 plus cos x, it immediately catches my attention and I remember the formula as it is equal to 2 cos square x by 2. That means 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos square theta by 2. Similarly, 1 minus cos theta is what? 1 minus cos x is equal to 2 sin square x by 2. And when I know these formulas, it is very easy to just apply it in the question given below. So now my question changes to tan inverse, what is under root 1 plus cos x? Under root 1 plus cos x is under root 2 cos square x by 2 plus remains as it is. What is under root 1 minus cos x of the numerator? It is under root 2 sin square x by 2. This is about the numerator. What about the denominator? Denominator again has 1 plus cos x. 1 plus cos x is what? It is 2 cos square x by 2. What is the denominator? Denominator is 1 minus cos x. What is 1 minus cos x? Under root 2 sin square x by 2. Yes, one minor change. The denominator had minus, so it will become minus and not plus. We change it to minus. Now, the question does not simplify yet. I find one more thing to simplify it that root 2 is there everywhere. Let's take it common and let's just cancel it. But root 2 can be cancelled only when the roots are separated. Now I also know one important thing that under root a b is equal to under root a into under root b when, when both a and b are greater than 0. And for 0 to pi by 2 that means 0 to 90 degrees wherein we can have 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, I will always have the things of sine and cos angles always positive because it is the first quadrant. So, I easily know that these things are positive and since these are positive, the roots can be separated. Let's follow the solution now here. The second part goes there. So, it becomes tan inverse under roots separated under root 2 cos square x by 2. You see, I separated the roots. Now, it is plus under root 2 sin square x by 2 and in the denominator also what is the only difference of minus sign rest everything is same so it becomes under root 2 cos square x by 2 minus under root 2 sin square x by 2 and the roots don't go anywhere don't forget the roots now what happens now we see that the root 2 root 2 has come out and it can now be cancelled. So, root 2 vanishes and I have tan inverse under root cos square x by 2 plus under root sin square x by 2 in the numerator and in the denominator. What is the story? The story is simple that it becomes under root cos square x by 2 minus under root sin square x by 2. Now, what is under root of anything in the square? That means I am asking you what is under root x square? Under root x square is mod x, right? 
वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दिस इन आर जूनियर क्लासेस ऑफ इलेवेंथ क्लास स्पेशली अंडर रूट एक्स स्क्वायर इज मॉडेक्स वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ मॉडेक्स मॉडेक्स हैज टू वैल्यूज इट इज आइदर माइनस एक्स और प्लस एक्स वेन इज इट माइनस एक्स वेन एक्स इज लेस देन जीरो एंड प्लस एक्स वेन एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो सो दैट मीन्स अंडर रूट कॉज स्क्वायर एक्स और अंडर रूट साइन स्क्वायर एक्स दीज वैल्यूज कैन बी बेसिकली थॉट ऑफ एज समथिंग इन एक्स एंड माइनस एक्स ओनली सो लेट्स रिमूव दिस पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन टू क्रिएट स्पेस एंड देन सॉल्व इट फर्दर Till now, what I have done is I've just applied the formulas and solved it a bit. I am removing this part. I hope you noted it down and understood it. Right. So we have erased the part, and I understand that it is minus x and plus x at this end. So my under root cos square x and sin square x values will assume something according to this formula. Now. Again, moving on to the question, the value of x lied between zero and pi by two. But now we are not talking about x. Indeed, we are talking about something called as x by two. So if x lies between zero to pi by two, what will x by two lie between? X by two here, that means dividing by two. So here also you divide by two. And in pi by two also you divide by two, so it becomes pi by four. That means my question now modifies to zero x by two pi by four. Why? Because zero upon anything one two three four or any non-zero number is zero only. Now let's see the question again. I know that it is under root cos square x by two, under root sine square x by two in the numerator and the denominator as well. The only difference is of plus and minus. Now, what is the value of cos square theta and sin square theta in zero to forty-five degree range? Pi by four is what? It is forty-five degrees, and zero is zero degrees. So, zero to forty-five degrees will have always cos as positive, sin as positive. So, positive plus positive will always give me positive. So, the numerator is what? Numerator is positive. What about the denominator? The denominator has something in negative. So if this is positive, sine square x by two is also positive. Positive minus positive is what? It can be positive or negative. Remember, a minus b is equal to either positive or negative. When is it positive? When the first thing is greater. When a is greater than b, say it is three minus two is always one, but two minus three is minus one. so positive when a is greater than b and negative when a is less than b so what is the case in the denominator in 0 to 45 degrees range let's get back to the question that means 30 degrees 0 degrees 45 degrees in this range cos theta minus sin theta is what cos 0 minus sin 0 is 1 minus 0 which is 1 what is cos 30 minus sin 30 It is root three by two minus one by two, which is under root three minus one by two, which is again positive. Cos forty-five degrees what? It is one by root two minus one by root two. Cos forty-five minus sine forty-five. It is zero, which is again non-negative. So that means we will always have both the numerator and the denominator as positive only. And when this is the case, it is very simple to eliminate the roots. So let's. remove this part of the question and get started with solving it let's make some space on the board so my question now changes to what it basically changes to numerator and denominator eliminating the roots i eliminate the roots my question was what the last step was tan inverse under root cos square x by 2 which becomes cos x by 2 and the numerator had plus so it becomes Plus sine x by two. In the denominator, we had cos x by two minus sine x by two. This is the question. Still, the question is not solved. We need to solve it further. We understand one very simple thing: that solving at this stage will require one thing: convert everything into tan. Why into tan? Because the question has tan inverse. so i need to convert into formula of tan so that tan inverse and tan get cancelled so 
tan inverse in the brackets if i divide by cos x by 2 throughout what does the question become 1 plus cos x by 2 and cos x by 2 get cancelled sin x by 2 upon cos x by 2 is what it is tan x by 2 in the denominator what happens cos x by 2 cos x by 2 get cancelled 1 and minus sign comes sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 is tan x by 2 now at least we have brought everything into tan now a formula to be applied so that tan and tan inverse here get cancelled what is 1 plus tan theta upon 1 minus tan theta it is nothing but as tan inverse tan pi by 4 plus theta we have already studied in our junior classes that means class 11 the formula i write it down for you people tan a plus b is what it is tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b this formula we are going to apply we have already applied this formula here i have been given the formula in right hand side form wherein tan a is what tan a is given to me as 1 which is only possible for 45 degrees so it becomes tan pi by 4 plus x now tan inverse and tan get cancelled and the answer that they give to me is pi by 4 plus x so this is a bit lengthy problem based on the concept of principal value branch the only criterion to solve these type of questions is using a lot many formulas for tan cos sine that means trigonometric formulas to simplify and then using the knowledge that if x lies in a particular value of the question do we have to solve only related to x no the formula becomes becomes for x by 2 so solve for x by 2 in the next video we'll be seeing the next numerical problem which is the same question but the value of x changes and hence the whole question actually changes